Today is all about quick and easy crock pot meals. Hey y'all, I'm Sammy and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing my top five dump and go or just regular old crock pot recipes. So if that interests you, I hope you keep watching. And if you like this video, give me thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Now sit back and relax, grab you some sweet tea and let me do all the cooking. Come on y'all, let's go. So number one is gonna be my cheesy chicken, broccoli and rice casserole. Y'all have to try this one. It is the absolute best. So in our crock pot, I have some seasoned diced up chicken breasts and I just seasoned them with some Badia Complete, Kinder's buttery and herb garlic seasoning and some dry ranch. Once you have that seasoned, you'll put that in your crock pot and then you'll dump in one package of chicken and broccoli nor rice and then one cheddar and broccoli nor rice side. You'll dump in one can of cream of chicken, one can of cream of mushroom, a small to medium diced up onion, and then you'll fill both of those cans back up with chicken broth instead of water. And then you'll stir that together just as good as you can. Make sure your crock pot is well sprayed though. Then you'll put your lid on that and you'll cook this on high for two hours. Once it is cooked for the two hours, you'll take about a cup to a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, put that on top, along with two cups of diced up frozen broccoli. I just thawed it a little bit. You'll give that a good mix together. And then once you have it mixed together, you wanna make sure that broccoli, you know, is well combined. You'll put more cheese on top. Now I found a garlic and herb block cheese by Kraft. Um, I shredded up half a block of that and then I shredded up a half a block of the just sharp cheddar cheese and I mix those together. You'll put that right on top. Put your lid back on it still on high for about 45 minutes just 30 to 45 minutes until that broccoli cooks through and y'all this is seriously the absolute best comfort food in one crock pot meal. I'm a telling you what. And if you're liking what you're seeing so far, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and think about hitting that subscribe button. It's completely free. Now, number two on my crock pot favorites has got to be these teriyaki meatballs. It's honestly up there with the first one, but these are so simple. Perfect for a busy weeknight. So into a sprayed crock pot, we're gonna put one 32 ounce bag of homestyle meatballs. Then we're gonna take a quarter cup of brown sugar, put that all over the top, one eight ounce can of pineapple juice. Then of course, y'all know me, I love my garlic, but at least one tablespoon of garlic needs to go in here. One full bottle of teriyaki sauce. I'm using the PF Chang's. You'll need the entire bottle. Just drizzle it right over the top. It's delicious, trust me on this. Even though it sounds weird, it's good. Put that lid on it, let it cook on low for about four to six hours, just depending on your crock pot, and this is what you end up with. I served mine over some rice with some steamed broccoli, and this was absolutely delicious. Try it. Now moving right along, another one, number three, my French dip sandwiches in the crock pot. Can't get any easier than this. Into a sprayed crock pot, I have one medium onion diced up. I'll season my chuck roast, put that seasoned side down, and of course you need to season the other side of your meat. You season in layers. Then we're gonna take one can of beef consomme and one can of um, Campbell's French onion soup. That's it, y'all. Put that lid on that baby. Put it on low for eight to 10 hours. By the time you come home from work, you've got this deliciousness right here. It is fall off, shreddable, tender, <laughs> and I just served this up, of course, on a hoagie roll with some provolone cheese. You could do lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, anything, but I just served that up just with the cheese and the au jus with some french fries. Now, number four, this one is good, y'all. Cheesy potato and sausage casserole. Comfort food yet again. So I took a combination. I grated up some of my own potatoes and I had a little 
about half a bag of frozen like southern style hash browns. So I just combined the two, put those into a well sprayed crock pot, seasoned it with some salt and pepper, cut up some cheesy cheddar, like the better cheddar sausages, covered that with about a cup of shredded cheese. Now into a separate mixing bowl, you'll take one small diced up onion, one can of cheddar cheese soup, and one can of cream of chicken, along with eight ounces of sour cream, and whatever seasonings you wanna use, but y'all know I love my badia complete. Give that a good old stir together, pour that right over top of your taters, your cheese, and your sausage, and then while that's in the crock pot, you can mix that all together. Just smooth it out on top because y'all guessed it, we're getting ready <laughs> to put some more cheese on top because more cheese, a more better. Y'all know I've said that a thousand times on here. So I just topped mine with about a half a cup to a cup, depending on your likings, with some sharp cheddar cheese. We'll put that lid on it, let it cook on low for about four to five hours. Um, just keep an eye on it. Mine was finished at four hours. But this is seriously delicious. Definitely give this one a try. And I would also love it if y'all would leave me a comment below and think about becoming part of my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button. Now, last but not least, we've got our number five, garlic parm chicken pasta. This is fantastic. <laughs> it's probably one of our favorites. That's why it's in the top five. So I've got four chicken breasts in a well-sprayed crock pot. We are going to take one bottle of the Sweet Baby Ray's garlic parmesan sauce, dump that whole bottle in there with a half a cup of chicken broth or stock, chicken bone broth, whatever you wanna use. Take one block, eight ounces of cream cheese, and I just pull mine apart and place it in there. You'll take a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and a half a cup of bacon bits. This is in addition to the original recipe. You'll put that on low for about four hours. Once it's done cooking, you'll just take your little meat chopper right here, shred that on up, boil you some pasta, dump that right into the crock pot, give it a good stir together. You can even add in some heavy whipping cream. I think I did about a half a cup to mine and I just served it right on up with some garlic knots. Y'all, this one, you gotta try it. All right, y'all, that finishes up today's video. I truly hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some new ideas or maybe something new to try for your family this week. Until next time, my sweet friends, if you are in need of prayer, please let me know below. I would be honored to pray for you all. And if you need some more meal inspiration, check out these other two videos that are on your screen right now. Until next time, God bless. Bye.